We know you're used to seeing us running around different Italian cities, with Matteo spewing cool facts and me stuffing my face with delicious but sometimes questionable food. You need a what? But today we thought we'd slow things down a bit. Now it's tasting the sauce. <laughs> and have you hang out with us on a relaxing evening in our amazing Luca apartment. If you've been following the behind the scenes and in-betweens on my channel, then you know things got a little ridiculous in our Florence day in the life. I didn't say pasta. And today, we're down the road in Luca. We're Matteo and Misha, and we're currently on the world's slowest Italian road trip, traveling to all 20 regions of Italy. Subscribe to follow the adventure. Chianti. We have never tried this one, but it's still a DOC, so it should be good. DOCG, my love. DOCG. Even fancier. Mateo's in his pasta making shirt, so that's how you know it's about to go down. I don't know why it's a DC USA shirt, but here we are. It's got holes in his mouth. It's my gymming shirt. You see, it's extra long, so when I put a weight belt on, it pulls and it can get holes in it, and it's fine. So you come in from the front. And when you turn this way, you've got a beautiful and large bedroom with a giant bed. Matteo and I take up a lot of space when we sleep, so when I saw this, I was like, that's perfect. Um, we just finished unpacking. The room's still a little bit messy, but we have these huge, beautiful windows that look out over the street. So that's really nice. And then some nice big cupboards. We just unpacked some of our stuff in here. We didn't bring it too much with us. Oh, look, the chef is here. Do you want to see it all? I'll make pasta. Oh, now Mateo's taking us on a trip. Oh, I forgot to close it. I'm coming in a second, but the bathroom is also really nice and big. Of course, you've got your bidet. It comes with bidet soap. It's intimate wash. That's how you know that's a, for the bidet. And yeah, we've unpacked some of our stuff here. Shower's pretty good. Hi. <laughs> I also just bought this little baby ring light for my phone and I'm absolutely loving it. Then you go this way to a gorgeous open space. Chef Matteo is cooking for us. We've got a little pasta ruski going on here. Ooh, is that for you or the sauce? A little bit of both. Probably should have bought some sauce one, but it's fine. And, oh, you got and, wine and also, you whenever we empty the jar, Matteo likes to put the wine in here and shake it up so that you don't waste the last little dribbles of the pasta sauce. Sorry for the mess. We've been, <laughs> we just grocery shopped today. Nice big fridge. This is much bigger than our fridge that we had in Florence. This one is <laughs> human sized, <laughs> which is uh, nice to find. And of course, you got your classic drying rack. We just washed our airplane clothes. And by we, I mean Mateo just hand washed them in the bidet because there's no washing machine here. And we've got a nice big couch here and this couch, which I think might be also a futon and a very crystal clear TV. We brought our Chromecast to watch some shows when we want. And this is the literal highlight of my Italian journey so far. I mean, just look at this view. It has been one of my biggest like bucket list items just in general, let alone in Italy, to have an apartment overlooking a piazza. Ever since I came to Italy for the first time 10 years ago, I remember being in so many piazzas and looking up at people either on their balconies or through their windows, just like enjoying the vibe from the comfort of their home or the hotel or whatever it was. I'm like, oh, that, that looks awesome. That to me seems like absolutely perfect. And this is the first time we have ever stayed in a place that overlooks a piazza. Funny enough, it was also one of the cheaper accommodations we could find in the city of Luca, which I was not mad about because obviously if you're staying in the center area, the prices tend to be higher. But in this case, it did not. And I could not be happier. Like 
This to me is absolute perfection. This piazza in particular has a very lovely vibe when we got in last night, it was our first night here. We literally just sat and had pizza and beer and enjoyed, you know, the view down below. Very sleepy, but yummy. Gorgeous evening out on the piazza. So this to me is like an absolute dream come true and I could not be happier. This piazza is also very, very cute. I sat down here earlier and had my afternoon cup of coffee. Today was more of an admin day where we grocery shopped, you know, got everything we needed, did some laundry and it's just been, yeah. So that is the highlight. We're here for two weeks while we do our day trips around to like Pisa, Pistoia, Livorno. We have to look that up. We're using this as our base for two weeks. Hello, chef. What do we have going on here? This is like a five ingredient pasta. Literally use arabiata sauce, one tin of tomato, dollop of pesto, cream cheese to give it a little bit of a creamier texture. It's pepperoncino spice. Got oregano. We don't cook anything without pepperoncino these days. We add some oregano and then... Vino. This is the arabiata sauce that we use. Oh, wait, I haven't put that in here. Pour what in? You didn't pour the wine in. I think you just you pour drank. The wine's in here. <laughs> there we go. Waste not. And remember to rinse your stuff out after you're done, as the recycling plants are not fans of dirty things. So I know there's like a little bit in there, but I don't want the pasta to be too watery if I add more. So you just do your thing and rinse. That way you keep the government happy. <laughs> What a good citizen you are. And then we also buy this pesto all the time. We put in everything. So that also goes in with the sauce. And cheese. we've got the water going in here. Oh yeah, that is bubbling. Oof. Nice Bitch. and creamy. Nice. It's very spicy. Do you want to turn the back one off for now until the sauce is done being cooked and the water's popping? No, the sauce will be done by the time the pasta's done. I am anything. But sufficient. <laughs> oh yeah, and the ceiling of our whole apartment looks like this, with these like giant wooden beams that look like they've just been carved and stuck. I love the look. A lot of apartments in Italy will have ceilings like this. It's uh, pretty crazy, but cool. See, all over the house, it just keeps going. It's very cool. Now we're tasting the sauce. <laughs> Mm. Good. That is really good. What does it need? More mm. pesto. More I was cheese. like, it doesn't have a kick, but the kick's cre yeah, creeping up. Kick's but I think just let it simmer for now. Mateo's like the master cooker of sauce. One type of sauce. Saucy. Mm. Okay. No. All right. Got the pasta going in there. Put a little salt in the water when you're cooking your pasta. Why do you know why? Why do you put salt in it? I don't actually know. Wow. <laughs> but I never not put salt in it. It's terrible. It's like, it becomes like, what's it like, really like sludgy, like, what's the word? Mushy? Yeah, mushy. It's terrible. There we go. And speaking of crazy architectural things, oh, also when you're here, the light switches for the stairwells are always on the side somewhere, but those are on a timer, so at some point they turn off. But, Look at how crazy the back side of the steps look. Look at how small and narrow these are. These steps are like so deep. It's got this very brittle metal railing to hold on to. It feels very medieval. So, anyway, and that stairwell light just turns off by itself. Back to cooking. Okay, time to try the pasta. Feels like it's ready. Hot. Mm-mm. So a little too hard. Probably good though. Is it just me or is the al dente time on the box never cooked al dente? It's usually just hard. Or am I just eating pasta wrong? Let me know in the comments below. Your hair sticking up here and here. It looks like you have devil's horns. Matteo's also frustrated with his new haircut. Yeah, I forgot to tell the lady <laughs> to just make it a little bit longer on top because I didn't get my haircut for nine months. 
Here's the proof. Look at what it looked like. Look at what it looked like. Look at what it looked. Look at what it looked like. <laughs> he looked like a little baby girl or a hockey player. Do you want to try it one more time? We'll pull up a real. Yeah. We'll come quick. Pasta's being strained. Shake a shake a shake. I was never an instant noodles person. A little bit of pasta, a little bit of pasta sauce. Maybe I do have a high, yeah. Oh, damn. Ooh. I probably should have cooled down the bottom. <laughs> shake, shake. Maybe take shake, it off shake. that one. Take it off that... Uh... I need to pour the sauce in immediately. But you have to take, oh, it, yeah, off this, the, take it off the... That makes sense. Stove top. I'm out of practice. I know, it's been a minute. Don't splash, don't splash. Mm. Ah, it's when you cut some bread to catch this last bit of sauce in the pan. What's that called? Scarpetta? La scarpetta. La scarpetta. La scarpetta. The little shoe. That's supposed to suck up all the sauce that's left in the pan. Yeah. Oh. I make pasta and a pizza. <laughs> except I don't. Except I don't. I've never made a pizza. Oh, see this thing has fans. Oh, that would help now that I'm finished. The wall is sweating. So are you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is it. There, I've got to get up ready. La scarpetta. I don't want to waste. The little shoe that you use a little piece of bread, soak up the sauce. Om nom 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 nom. Mm. Is it good? Delish? Mm. Did you do a good job? Mm. <laughs> Another very Italian thing is that in most of the kitchens, the drying rack is above the sink. Some of them don't have this thing that catches the water. It'll just drain right down into the sink, but this one does. So you put them up there, let them dry, and you tuck it away, which I think is super classy. Also, saves on counter space. Yum, yum, yum. Mm. <laughs> Dinner is served. Had a table for two. It's a very small table, but it does the trick. Got a delicious bowl of pasta, some vino. Matteo likes to drink his in his short glasses there. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers Ugh, couldn't have asked for a better setting. This is perfect. That's a good job. You did. Yeah. Absolutely delicious. Mm. Ugh, this to us is like an ideal evening. Best table in the house. The chef's even eating with me. Ciao. In our next episode, we spend the day being pleasantly surprised by what seems to be the friendliest city in Tuscany, where we get swept up in the hustle and bustle of the morning market. <laughs> this happens every time we're at a market. Eat one of the most delicious paninos ever. This is the best combination I've had in Tuscany. And end up ripping almost every Livornese type of shot. <laughs> Subscribe to follow the adventure. That burned your eyes.